Welcome everybody. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can customize the AMP Media Server web panel. What we're going to do is change this text here, change the background here on the login page. And when we log in, we're going to update this logo and add a new section in the dashboard here with some text, just to demonstrate how you can customize the AMP Media Server web panel. First, let's download the application files, which are in GitHub. If you go to AMP Media GitHub um, account, and then the AMP Media Management Console is the application files, which you need to clone uh, to start the development process. Let's clone that. So git, oh, git clone. There. Uh, let's cd into there, and because this is um, this whole application is based off Angular JS, so what we need to do is we need to install all the packages with npm install. This takes a little bit of time to install, so while that's going on, let's just go through some of these files and folders to have a quick overview of this. So we really want to be focusing on source app folder and these are all the component folders that where you'll find. Um, so the ones we're interested in is dashboard. So like I said we're going to add a new section in the dashboard. We're going to go to pages login and there's a login.component.html uh, file. This is where we're going to change the background and some uh, text at the top and also once we've logged into the dashboard uh, we're going to use this uh, change this file here the sidebar component where we can update our logo and the text that we're seeing okay there's I mean you can you can modify anything you like yeah, maybe you want to get a bit more ex, um, experimental and delve into some more of these components. We can do another tutorial, advanced one, advanced customizations later. But this is a basic one, so those are mainly out of scope. Okay, it looks like it's completing now, the install. Give it a few more seconds. It should be completed. Like I said, this is an AngularJS application, so if you're familiar with AngularJS, then it should be quite straightforward for you. But it's not, um, you, don't, you don't need to know AngularJS to make some basic customizations like the logo. There we go, it's done. Now to run this, we can do npm run start. AngularJS, this application is running on port 4200. So you need to have AMP Media Server running locally for this to work for the development process, the customization. So if you have it installed, make sure you don't have port 4200 enabled because this is what it's going to be running on. It will block it otherwise. Right now it's building the files, compiling and it's going to launch it on port 4200 and connect to our local installation. There we go. Let's go to that. Here. My local install is on is in a docker. I've got a docker container with that media server running and this is this is me logging into it here and this is now running on the um, uh, management console application that we just downloaded. Right, let's get start modifying it. So if we just log out here, we're going to change this page first. So we need to go to pages, login, login component. And here we're going to change this text to something like uh, custom media server. Okay save that there we go and let's change the background so here we got the 
background definition under here. I'm just going to remove the image and put something like blue. There we go. Let's log in and make some changes here. Let's update this logo. So here we need to go to uh, sidebar, sidebar component, and that's the logo in the assets image folder here. Now I've already made a logo which is here, and I'm just going to drag and drop that into my editor, into that folder. Okay, and let's update the name of the image. And the reason why it says 42 by 42 is because that image is 42 pixels by 42 pixels. So when you make a logo, make sure it's that size. Let's update this text here to custom media server. So, and there we are, custom logo. Let's add a panel here with some custom text. I'm going to go to dashboard, overview, overview to component, and I'm just going to copy this section here because it's, I'm going to create a new row. Let's um, add the ending divs like that and do an H1. Let's do something like welcome to my custom media server. Oh, and let's make it full screen. Let's make it full width, shall we? This is bootstrap. So we could do 12 columns like that. And there you go. There's our custom web panel. Now, how do we get this to the server? Well, first things first, we actually have to build the AngularJS project to production build, to a, as a production build. So we do this, npm run build. That's gonna compile and build all the files that we need to um, upload to the server. Now, where do these files go? Well, let's go to our Docker. This is my Docker that's running right now. Files. Let's go to user, local, and media, and the web apps folder. Now you see the live app and the web, WebRTC app EE. Now there's a root app, and this is where the web panel is. So we need to replace all these files. These are all the build, uh, the built files from the previous um, web panel version that we're going to overwrite, we're going to update. So we need to remove them all, but make sure you keep the web meta inf and the web inf folder. You need those. To make things easy for myself, I've created a root folder and I've already downloaded those folders. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to go to, where is it? So I've built these files. These go into the dist folder here. Okay, let's reveal that in folder. And these are them. So I'm just going to copy all of these into um, my root folder here, like that. Okay. Then I'm just going to delete this here, like that. Go to the web apps and import the root folder back in with my updated files. And there they are. You see all the ones added. These are the updated ones. And that's it. No restarting required. Let's go and refresh our server, local installed server. If I refresh now, my custom web panel is done. And it's as simple as that. This process, same process can work on the server. You know, the, you know I just updated it on the Docker container. That could be your actual server. So it's very easy to do it, and um, like I said, we can do, maybe we'll do some advanced customizations in f future tutorials. But this one is a basic overview of how you can update your web panel for your AMP Media Server to customize it to suit your needs and branding. Okay, thank you.